We did run into a little bit of a problem. What is up guys, welcome back to another Cannonball E63 video. So in the previous video we did do all the rear suspension just to just so it can be on its feet, just so it can uh, drive in and out of the shop, uh, all this good stuff. In today's video we are going to focus on the electrical, so as you can see all this stuff right here, we did kind of just throw it to the back for now because most of it goes actually in the back in the trunk. So we're going to focus on doing the wiring uh, just to the middle section and even the interior we want to complete the whole interior on at least the front end the carpet inside the front seat just so we can actually sit inside it when we drive in and out you know so i'm guessing the, the interior just the front end interior throw all the wiring back we got a lot a lot of work yeah, a lot of complicated work, look at that yeah well it's uh, it's complicated but you know we'll figure it out where everything goes uh, obviously so because each plug has its own spot its own connection so that shouldn't be a problem we'll figure out it's just gonna take a lot of hours a lot of time but we'll get it done so let's go ahead and park the car in a comfortable position comfortable spot and actually get they get dig into this wires later dig, dig into it. it yeah and get it done man so let's kill it
All right, guys, so check out the interior. The interior is complete, not 100%, but for the most of it, it is complete. The headliner is inside, all the seats are inside. They're all plugged in, everything's functional. We did not want to bore you guys with this whole process because we had to figure out the whole wiring, where everything goes, because you guys seen everything was just tangled up. So we went ahead and threw you guys on a tripod and just time lapse pretty much the entire thing. And as for the trunk, we did figure out where all the wiring goes. So we did temporarily just throw the trunk on top. Just, it's not even bolted on completely. Just so we know what wires go where. Uh, we threw in the whole air suspension unit, everything in here. So the reserve tank and then also the vacuum, uh, I guess you can call it a vacuum pump or whatever that is. All that's connected, everything's plugged in. Uh, wiring wise in the back it does still look like a mess i don't know what all these wirings are this is all to their personal fuse box i guess you can say the only original wiring that's supposed to be here would be this thick uh positive one these right here this other positive one and then this negative one that's right here and that bolts on into the little secondary i guess you could say little battery that goes in here so we did run into a little bit of a problem the air suspension even though we connected everything the car does not want to lift on us we tried resetting all the codes the code still pops up for the air lift i have a feeling it could be just a ground wire that's loose but i did get all the main ground wires screwed in so it can't be that the only other thing it could be is this little battery right here because it does run to the main fuse box as well uh maybe it needs a reprogram yeah i don't know, I don't know how it could AMGs also are. need a reprogram because like I said, everything that was in this quarter panel is for the air suspension. And from the accident, you guys seen how the quarter panel is. Everything was just sandwiched inside, smashed inside. Uh, the wiring, we did also run into a little bit of a wiring problem, but we got it figured out because the black E63, it did have the wiring harness, the complete harness, but the only thing it's two different packages, E63s. So for example, this is the wiring that would go, this is the wiring that would go on the inside on the inside like this. So this is all the stuff that was messed up on it. We matched up all the wires that we needed. So all the wires are, are in, everything works, whatever needs to work. There are some extra wires that we did throw out, for example, for a rear antenna right inside here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this plug right here, it's it's a useless plug, plug pretty much. So this these would be the wires for that. But that's the, everything for the wiring. We did figure out what goes where, everything where it goes, which is good. Cause that's that's the number yeah. one thing that when I seen it, I was just like, oh boy, you know that's not, that's not going to be easy to yeah. do. It did take a whole, believe it or not. Usually it, it's not that hard to put together interior. This one took a whole day to put together, and that's everything for the wiring. But we are going to have one of our guys just come out here and kind of take a look at it, maybe reprogram it. We're still going to do some more some more research into it, see exactly what the problem can be. Because I mean, we pretty much changed everything. We even changed the pump that's on the bottom, you know. So that could be just all we need to do maybe is just reprogram, you know, you never know with the with the German cars. Yeah, we had a similar issue with the Performante also, like it had yeah. the air lit. The, yeah, the uh, ALA the, system, yeah. I mean, the fact that the battery, I guess, was dead all the way or something. We never changed anything in the, in the ALA system wise, but we still had to take it to the dealership to San Francisco to reprogram it. All right, guys, so it is currently the next day. As you can see, the batteries did die in us, so we decided to call it a night and come back with a fresh head, you know, just just to start on all that bodywork. There is a lot of bodywork on this car. It's mainly all the way around. The whole, sides, uh, the whole side is the side that hit the rail. So it is messed up. We do have to primer, then we have to let the primer dry. We have to wet sand the primer. The next day come again, sand it down, primer it. The next day just sand it down. We also do have to sand the entire car, almost the entire car, other than the fender and the hood for paint and the roof. The roof's not getting painted either. But without wasting any time, we do have a lot of work to do with the body work. So we're gonna go ahead and start knocking it out.
All right guys, so this is why I sand by hand and never do it with the machine. So for example, when you do it by hand and it's a block, it's a straight block, you go ahead and you find out where the high spots are and where the low spots are. So for example, this is a high spot, low spot, high spot, once I sand it a little bit. Then over here, I have to keep going until I match it up with this. So once I match it up with this, then I'm gonna be able to know where the high spot is and where the low spot is. So we applied one layer of fiberglass bondo. Also we applied another layer of uh, regular bondo. So what we got left is to do the finished body filler. But unfortunately we did run out and we got a lot of work done today. So in the next episode we are going to apply the last coat of body filler. And the next step is to primer, sand and prep the entire car ready for paint. Because we are trying to get this car done by the end of this month. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, like, share. Also hit us up on our Instagram at Builds, and we will catch you guys later.